Hi there, in today's video we're gonna talk about the Runway Visual Range, also called RVR. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Hi there, I'm Gabriele from PilotClan.com. I'm a training cap on the Boeing 737 and I help you to become a better pilot. So consider subscribing to the channel so you will not miss the next content. All right, let's talk about the running visual range. The running visual range is the part of the run that you can actually see expressed in uh, meters of feet once you are over the threshold line up on board of your aircraft, okay? So let's imagine you're ready for takeoff, you're uh, just lining up on the threshold the part of the runway that you can see, that is your runway visual range, okay? And the difference between the runway visual range and the visibility is that the RVR, the runway visual range, is the part of the runway that you can see, so it's applicable to the runway. However, the visibility is a general visibility, so it's really applicable to the area, okay? Let's say you have a visibility of 1,600 meters, general visibility, and RVR of 1,000 meters, 1,500 meters, okay? These two are a little bit different because one is applicable to the area around the airports and the other one is applicable to the part of the runway that you can see once ready for takeoff, okay, once on the threshold, all right? You can measure the runway visual range by uh, going on, on the threshold of the, of the runway, okay, inside of a vehicles and look how many lights you can see of the center line because, for example, normally the center line lights are spaced by 15 meters and if you see 10 center line lights, that case, it means that you've got 150 meters of RVR, okay? This is the old style way of measuring the RVR. Now, the, the most of the, the vast majority of the, of the airports, they have these uh, uh, RVR read meters that are located next to the runway, and then you've got these read meters that actually is very precise and gives you exactly how many meters of RVR you've got, okay? Some airports, they only have one RVR read meters for the threshold, okay, that measure the, the first RVR for the first part of the runway. Some other uh, airports, have, they have got three uh, RVR read meters, so they can actually provide the RVR on the uh, start point, the touchdown zone, on the midpoint, and then at the end of the runway as well. It really depends on the airport and the low visibility. For example, if the low, there is an airport where the low visibility is not very often, there is always good weather, like in where I am in Tenerife, where it's always sunny, in that case, it's very rare that you're gonna have uh, low visibility. In that case, the airport maybe doesn't even need the RVR read meters, okay, because it's very rare. However, if you go, for example, to, to the north of Europe, okay, where you can have lower visibility, in that case, some airport, they might have three RVR read meters as well, okay? So it is very important to know this because some airport they only gives you one RVR, okay, let's imagine that that airport has got only one RVR read meters, in that case that pilot will actually get the information about the RVR only in one part, so let's say your airport they will tell you RVR 200 meters, that's it. In the airports where you have multiple RVR read meters in three parts, for example, the touchdown, the midpoint, and the end, you're gonna have three RVR readings, okay? So as you can see, the RVR is very important because the RVR actually tells you what sort of procedure you should fly, okay? Because in a situation with low visibility, low RVR, you should fly an ALS Cat 3, for example, instead of ALS Cat 1. So the RVR is extremely important. And what I can say from my experience after flying more than 10 years in low visibility, okay? I can tell you that even though you're, uh, you have the minimum RVR for an ALS Cat 1, which is the minimum, RVR for ALS Cat 1 is 550 meters, okay? And I can assure you that if one day you've got an RVR of 600 meters, there are good chances that you will not see the runway because the RVR, sometimes you need a little bit higher RVR compared to the minimum, okay? So I hope you liked the video. If you liked the video, give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions about runway visual range, please leave a comment below and then I will help you out. Also go to paloclimb.com where you can subscribe for free pilot training content. I wish you a great day and I'll see you in the next one.